guys, Michael Stillwell here from Stillwell Pianos in Mesa, Arizona, and you just listened to a 1992 Kohler & Campbell SKG 400. So this piano measures 4 foot 7 inches from the very front to the very back, making it pretty much the smallest baby grand piano you can get. Now Kohler & Campbell is what we call a stencil brand, meaning that there's no such thing as a Kohler & Campbell piano factory. These are Samic pianos, and they stencil this name on the front. This is very, very common in our industry. Think Conover Cable, Schaefer & Sons, Sherman Clay, all these older names. Um, they'll basically just stencil that name on the front of a Samic piano and mark it a little bit different and hope that you had a grandma or somebody that had a Kohler & Campbell and you're connected to it somehow. But make no mistake, these are Samic made pianos. This particular one, like I said, is a 1992 and it is the smallest you can get. It's four foot seven from the front to the back and it's about five foot, or I guess probably about four foot 10, four foot 11 wide this way. So it's wider actually this way than it is this way. The finish uh, we got in, we buffed out the entire finish. These natural wood finishes, how they used to do this is they would stain the wood and then do a clear coat over the top, which allows the piano to be bleached just like a, a coffee table or a dining room table or something like that. So this piano had sunlight on it and it got bleached a little bit, but it did it evenly. The way you tell this is if you flip this flap over and you have to look at the pictures in the uh, listing to see this, but you'll see the original color of the piano is a little bit darker than how the piano looks like this. There is a tiny little chip right here, but all in all, this piano is, uh, I was really shocked at what Nathan priced this piano at because he must have got a really good deal on it because it's really uh, inexpensive for what it is. So we're selling this piano, I think about $3,000, um, which is a lot less than you would expect of a piano in this condition. And we did buff out all the finish uh, surface scratches, buffed out the hardware, tuned, regulated, and voiced the piano. There's no cracks in the soundboard, bridge, or pin block. This thing has at least another 20, 30 years of really good life without needing anything major. So guys, if you have any questions about this particular piano or any other piano on our website, always feel free to shoot me an email at michael at stillwellpianos.com. Thanks for watching, guys.